I'm here with Mike Shannon, and he has a native Titan 10.5. He gave me the privilege of taking him out, uh, taking me out on the water to see uh, uh, some favorite places he likes to fish. And so, uh, Mike, just tell me a little bit about your fishing journey and how long you've been a fisherman, and uh, let's go from there. Okay, I was born in Indiana and fishing along the Wabash River since before I could uh, read or write. So um, it's been a long haul. I fished uh, Indiana, then we moved uh, to the west. I fished uh, the trout streams in the west and uh, came back here in North Carolina, fished the trout streams here. And um, finally we moved out here to the coast. And that's where it got hairy because I couldn't get to the water unless I bought a big boat. And then uh, my wife talked me into a kayak. So I started with the kayak. Uh, I probably had four or five kayaks. Um, ended up with, as I've gotten older and a little bit punier, uh, ended up with a um, looking for a lighter, shorter kayak that would work in the marshes. And I, I uh, found the, um, uh, the kayak of my dreams was ba basically was a native wilderness titan. And at that point it was a 10. Um, but the 10 bounced me around a bit, so I got 10.5. But the big problem there was um, heavier. And it was harder for me to get the kayak in the water, out of the water, whatever. And I always dreamed of having a system that, uh, where I could get, get up on wheels. And for a while I tried several of the strap on wheels and that type of thing. The big problem there, I had to physically lift the kayak up to get the wheels underneath it once I got it toward shore. It was okay going in, a devil coming out. So, um, and I tried some things with wheels on it, but it was the same problem. You couldn't get the wheels down without lifting the kayak up. And then I saw David's product on the, a video and I said, that's the one I've been dreaming of right there. And uh, contacted David and he said, uh, I said, when you get this made for my uh, Titan X 10.5, I'll buy it. And he called me up and said, I can do that. And he did. And I've been happy with this little baby ever since. So um, I can get in the water, out of the water, no, no worries. And uh, it's been it's been a godsend. I'm uh, I'm looking at 80 years old next week, and uh, I think I got another five to ten years of kayaking with this. That's awesome, Mike. I'm so happy to hear you say that. It it warms my heart to know that this device is helping you do the things you love. Tell me a little bit about how you transport this from your driveway to the place you want to go fishing. Uh, don't have to move it or anything, but uh, you're, you actually put it in the back of your SUV, right? Yeah, I put it in the back. I have uh, what's called a T-bone, uh, and it comes out from the from the trailer hitch, a bar. I lift up the front, roll it up there, and put it right on the on the, the rollers and slide it into the into the back of the uh, uh, my my SUV here. When okay. I want it, when I get it far enough in. I lift the wheels up and push up the rest of the way. Okay. Reverse that, I get it back out. I'll put it in my garage. I, once I get it out, I'll just wheel it around, put it up on my trailer bars, slide it in. There we go. No muss, no fuss. Do you want to, are you thinking you want to try to put it up there right now? What do you mean try? Well, I guess <laughs> do it. Okay, let's just see you do it. Of course. It. All right. If I can't, we're in trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. I didn't get myself enough room to get out. Right, right. You made it. But we're good. Yep. Right in there. There we go. And then 
pull the wheels up. There you have it. Easy peasy. There you have it. Well, Mike, I appreciate the day. I appreciate the time you've given me to shoot this video. I, I hope that uh, we'll be able to uh, get it out there and let other people hear your story of uh, what the Freedom Launcher means to you and the sport you love. I appreciate you going out fishing with me and scaring the fish like a catcher. <laughs> I think so. Oh, well, you know what? I'll have to I'll have to return the favor sometime. Okay. <laughs> I, you owe me. I owe you. <laughs> well, Thank I you owe so you. Much, David. Thank you much. It's been a pleasure. Likewise.